Oh, let's see. If y'all follow me on Facebook, which you probably don't, um, I posted about this. The swapping this onto my 716 Alice Chalmers tractor. I built, I used the recoil start cup actually to make a faceplate to drive the drive shaft of the thing, of the uh, gearbox. And as it so happened, I was a fool. And I said, hey, I got this mocked up. I'm going to go tootling around on it. And, well, let's see if I can... Mm. Well, I'll, I'll throw some pictures up. Maybe I can show you the uh, aftermath if I find it somewhere in this great pile. So anyway, uh, I put the bolts in it, just regular nuts and bolts, just to make sure it would run true and things like that, and it did, and I got greedy and I decided, hey, I'm going to go tootling around on it, and the bolts backed out and shredded everything I had just built. So, lesson learned. This time, I'm just going to mock it up, make sure it runs true, and then lock tight and lock nuts. Actually, I'll probably use Nord locks, I've been pretty impressed with them. Um, in any case, that's that. Um, I'm rebuilding that. Here it is, right here. This is what I have. It's built a little beefier. Um, you can see it's... This is what's left of the cup that didn't get damaged. And it, of course, bolts on the front about like so. Actually, behind this nut. I'm working through the camera here. But it fits over and in the slots like so. And then this retains it. And actually, there's three small M6, M6 screws, which actually can go in these to retain it even more. And I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. Um, and this, which is um, made out of scraps, except this I had to actually buy. It's a piece of fence post. Um, I'm going to drill this out so you can get to the center nut. Um, but this is actually, it's a close, but not, I mean, it's, some, it's somewhat loose. I can shim it so that it stays centered. Um, and it's going to be set to the right length, like so, once I have it in place on the tractor, and then welded. And so then I should have a nice, durable, um, not piece of shit. Anyway, that's that. And for those of you who haven't been following along at home, this is a... 13 horse Predator engine, which I bought on clearance. Yeah, clearance. Predator, I know. But, anyway, uh, to adapt it to this, to this tractor, I made these two wooden plates. I cut them to the thickness of the difference between it and the old 16, which is somewhat bigger somewhat bigger so that got the height of this but there were spacers which go onto these bolt holes uh, and they have dis disappeared so I'm going to have to figure from memory I seem to recall them being about 3 8 to 7 16 of an inch I'll put together something uh, I think that's about right though and we'll see if it works. Okay. So now I gotta balance this thing. And what I did is I took a plumb bob and I turned the back side of it such that it fits in that hole real nicely.
and I get it to quit fucking swinging. All right. To see how it's sitting off center on there, I've just got to apply extra weight to it, just a smidge. Get that balance back out, so I don't wear out my engine from running this thing. And the way I'm going to add that material is with the welder. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll chuck it up in my lathe and see if uh, see if it shakes. Because that is pretty good. not too bad. I don't know if that's significant compared to the actual motion of the motor in the first place or not. I don't know how I'm going to get a better than that. And I very highly doubt that that's going to uh, affect the life of my engine. Next step. Now, if this ain't gonna sketch you out, I don't know what will. It's certainly sketching me out. Yes, I'm using ATF. That's all I got handy.
in low range I get through it. 